Yeah, we'll find some time. Especially in the winter. Um, Here's my brother last unboxing his first RC model. Brush the speedboat. So I'm just going to sit down and uh, see what he thinks. Looks like a really good model from what I saw on YouTube from other people with this boat. Got from Amazon. Uh -huh. Yeah, what's in there? I don't know, maybe a cradle. You know, set it on. That could be. No, that could be a stand in there. I had I had a boat that was like that. Propeller. Okay, so you get a spare prop. That looks like the cradle. You're right. You're absolutely right. It's a stand. Right so here. when you put the battery in and stuff, you have you put it on that cradle. You got and tools. Prop on what? I think so. Yeah, I, th I bet you that's a spare prop uh, nut there, if you will. There's a little piece of plastic there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Though. Maybe that's what that's in there. That's oh, cool. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Naturally, everything's got to be taped and, you know. Look at that. Wow. That's cool. That does look cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. Easy to see. And there's your rudder. Well, oh, it's metallic. Look, the blue is metallic. It is. Yeah, there's the rudder. Stabilization fins or whatever. Hey, you know exactly what that is. That's awesome. That's a nice rudder. Look at that. Yeah, even out left and right. That's way cool. Um, what do they call those? Uh, trim tabs, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's what they call those. Yeah, yeah. Not like you're that uh, like you're talking about these stabilizers here. Same thing helps it run. This is you're right. That's the battery. Yeah, and the batteries go uh, go in the transmitter. They give you the batteries with it. That's pretty cool. This is probably antenna or just a knob. No, you're right. It's an antenna. It's just a little wire in there. Yeah. Uh, but that's all that's required. Stern trim, LED lights, and speed switch. Speed switch. I'm estimating the speed switch is probably like a high and low. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you run it in the low setting and full yeah, throttle. Is... Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Cool. And this would be speed? That's your steering. Oh, uh, the, right. the, the trigger. Steering. That's yeah. right. The trigger's your speed, and the, the wheel's your steering, oh, just like in a steering wheel. Oh, that's a protective uh, little thing to put on the on the bow. Really? That's it. Did you see that video that I sent you on the phone? Uh, sure. No, seriously. Did, did you? Yeah, but I don't notice the little. Well, at the beginning, the guy says he taped that on when he got his boat because it was like yours is, but. Then he proceeds to run the same boat and smashes it into a rock with the nose of it. So I'm saying to myself, well, good thing to have the cone. There you go. You got your outer hatch off. Don't eat the battery. Look at that, man. You're an RC guy already. You've already figured out how to open the inner hatch where the battery goes. I assume it needs charging. Yes, it does. And that's what this is here. That's your USB. Charger there. That looks good. That's really nice and watery. Oh, and that's where it your battery organized. connects. Yeah, yeah, it's very organized. It's noticing. Yeah, that's where your battery will connect. There's the drive shaft, etc. That's right. Oh, look at that. And this looks like that might be foam for a water seal. Oh yeah, foam or rubber. rubber. Yeah. That looks good in there. That looks really yeah. nicely laid out. Looks looks quality. Yeah. What did I just do? So I don't need to do these. It's just these two. Huh. That's pretty cool. That looks nicely made. I think. This is the. Oh yeah, USB. Here over here is interesting. They show you a little thing. I think it says was some kind of a warning here, but that's the exit for the. Uh, Oh, yeah. Water cooling system on that side, I think. Yep. Right there. Mm -hmm. I think they're warning you not to cover it or something. I can't read it. It's just small. I'm old. Water cooled drain. Please don't touch it. High temperature. Oh, no kidding. So that's the hot water coming off the and then motor. This dumb warning. Don't touch the propeller while it's moving. <laughs> well, it keeps them legally. Uh, yeah. They're not legally liable if somebody screws up. Yeah, it's legally liable. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, well he would know. Yeah, so on the on here, uh, see what you got on here. Let's see what we got. We got the... I think it's charged at all. No, we. Uh, you want to. Oh, one thing about that, you don't don't want to run it unless it's in water, mm -hmm. because it has to stay cold. Mm -hmm. But you could actually test it in the bathtub if you really wanted to. Just hold on to it and you know see if it worked if you wanted to. But you got a river around you too. But yeah, that there. Let's see. Where's your little charger? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Mm. Another one. That is cool. They give you all the tools that you're gonna need. Two Allen wrenches, I think spare prop, uh, securing nut, spare prop, and the tools. My helicopter I got recently has all the tools. That's I assume awesome. it's relatively quiet. The boat? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. Pretty much, but it'll make a sound and they'll throw up a rooster tail too. So this. You is, got it. You're, yeah, I'm just saying this is for charging and this is for. That's exactly charging. right. That's exactly right. I need to get one of those adapters. And it'll say there should be an uh, owner's manual in there. Let's see. Is there? Let's take a look here. It could be. There it is. There it is. Owner's manual hiding right here. There it is. Uh, so it, it tells you everything about it. I thought I'd look up in here real quick. Oh, here you go. Oh, driving time is about 10 minutes, Lance, mm -hmm. when it's charged. And I thought I'd look and see what it says on uh, charge time here. You can look through that, and it'll give you all kinds of good information. Da, da, da. Let's see. Nice manual. Some of the products from China have a manual that's hard to understand. But this, oh, here we go. Charging batteries. Now, this cannot be right. It says the charging time is about 360 minutes. Six hours. That can't be... Why, you think that's slow? Oh, that's crazy. Long time. That's insane. I don't think it's really that. I think they must mean 60 minutes. What's the MI on? Look at this again. 11.1 volt. I guess you just... So when you plug it in, there should be a red indicator light on that, which may be upside down. Right. It's on. See, it's underneath. There you go. There you go. See? Yep. So when it's on solid like that, let's see what it's say here. Charging. Yeah, uh, the red indicator light is on when charging, red ind indicator light is off when charging is completed. Um, it could be that this, I still have a hard time believing this is really true. If it is true, it could be for the first charge, perhaps. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But that, anyway, that, that can't be right. It might be 36 minutes. It's a three cell battery. It's got three, mm -hmm. you can see it's got three, you know, mm -hmm. little batteries wrapped up in there. So it's a three cell, so it's a pretty bigger battery for RC. So it could take a while, but nothing. It's not gonna take six hours. Uh, I'm thinking about 90 minutes or less. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see what else, uh, installation steps that have to put in the battery. It tells you in here, it's got photographs too. And all the English is good. You can actually read it. <laughs> It's not broken English. Yeah, it tells you everything here, Lance. Great. Now, this is interesting. There's an autopilot mode. Really? Yeah, it says... Is that like if it goes out of range? It says, if operator... And this is some of that uh, English I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. If the operator long press the button on the remote control, the boat will automatically move, move back and forth in the O shape. Long press the button again... But we'll exit autopilot. So for some reason, if you hit that button, it'll just go in a circle mm -hmm. and stand by, standing by. So you could go get it or something. 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 Um, which button? That's a good question. Let's see. The button. Oh, let's uh, see. That's, so you got your power button dead center screen there, obviously. And uh, I assume speed switch, demo, lights, steering. Now that's an interesting... I assume there's Push some kind lines. of oh, let's see. some kind of trim thing. There Maybe is. If it doesn't go straight when you have I, the wheels. That's straight. exactly right. Maybe. Oh, here, right here, steering yeah. trim here. Okay. That button. Is, so if it's going to the right and you don't want it to, you yeah. go left. That's you already, uh, you know, totally have the instincts. Totally. Speed switch. Yeah, maybe it's a variable. So if you start when you're starting out, maybe you do. I wonder if it's just. Let's see. What? It's probably not. Stick, that's the wouldn't power be the power button, button because if you did a long so. press, it would turn off. The, well. Only that and the LED lights. Push. Do any of those buttons push? Oh, yeah. Oh, the lights do. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's weird. 
so maybe it's LED lights, or I don't think it'd be throttle. You wouldn't want the throttle. No. Oh, here it points at it. Uh, it actually points at which uh, button it is over here, and it's this, the very. Oh, it's upside down. It's, it's the it's, center of the uh, little buttons. It's the center yep, of the little button, which is the LED lights. It is that one. Yeah, it's the only one that pushes. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So if you long, if you <laughs> long press, yeah, uh, see. Yeah, if you uh, press it and hold it, it'll go into the uh, circle mode, and then if you do the same thing, press it and hold it, it goes out of it. That's pretty good. Well, now, this you is... touch it, it goes into a circle. You long push it and long press, and the boat will exit. Oh, okay. So it's just on and off. Yeah, yeah. It says on and off. Please perform this operation in an open area. Now, this looks like... Uh... Fast yeah. slow gear switch over. Yeah. Looks like they've got it set up so you can put the battery in and out by only removing this hat uh -huh. only. And then that. I guess drain water or something. This and one. work on it. Once in a while you have to uh, lubricate the shaft, which isn't hard. Excuse but me. The shaft in the boat. Oh. And that's uh, why they give you these Allen wrenches and stuff here. <clears throat> because once in a while you just uh, put uh, some lube in there. Yeah. I'll get some of that lube. And I wonder what that is. Oh, the key in the corner that would be open here or something. Yeah, yeah, probably. It's the only corner that's cut off. So yeah, yeah. That's how you know the lid goes on. That you did. So. I think you're out dead on. Yeah. Dead on with that. Yes, we couldn't have figured that one out. It took two of us. Well, it took just you. And here's a little uh, something to get in the box a little bit about their. They've got a, a email a tech support on here. That's mm -hmm. good. And uh, yeah, they got a customer Ooh. service department with with live people, according to this. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty rare. Oh, it's a warranty. Warranty. So there you go. Plus, when you buy from Amazon, I'm not a huge corporate fan necessarily, but Amazon backs the stuff that you buy from them. They sure do. They sure do. Yeah, sometimes so we could go out and yep. find a slow part of the river. And yeah, there's all Drake Park would be great. Yep, that's the slow Drake river. Park. I haven't been there. It's right. Yeah, it's right downtown. Uh, Is that where people do the sur wave surfing and stuff like no, that? No, no. Okay. This is Drake Park, the calmest part. There's like a lake on the Oh, gotcha. Oh, that's maybe, perfect. Maybe two miles an hour currently. Yeah, yeah. The biggest uh, uh, caution they have to watch out for when you're doing an RC boat, which I know from experience, more than once, is there's self riding and all kinds of good stuff. And this even has lights, so it's hard mm -hmm. to see. Mm -hmm. But the big mistake, which I've made, is you run a little too long and your battery dies and the boat's in the middle of the lake. Yeah. So you got to time. That would do it. How <clears> are you <throat> supposed to know that? Well, what you could do, you could do is you could take what the manual says with the running. I think it yeah, says what, ten, 10 minutes. Uh, and the best thing to do, what I do, it sounds kind of goofy, maybe is, is from Amazon or or at the or at the drugstore, get a little tiny timer, self-contained, you know, sure. and just uh, with a countdown, you know. And uh, you can even stick it on the transmitter with double-sided tape, and then when you start to run the boat, just hit start on the timer, and then you can bring it back before time's up. Cell phone charger, power bank, or computer charger. Because uh, the, this would be the fastest, the more direct. The... Yeah, I would think so. It's so, too bad that it's not like a flashing light when your battery gets low or something. Or some kind you mean of... on the boat? In... Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the transmitter? No, yeah, you're right. There's no. You're right. No <clears throat> That's why you got used to use the timer. Most of the models that I had. Uh, Almost. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't know, though, here. Yeah, yeah. Batteries in there. Yeah. So, so it would have to get... Well, like on some of my airplane models uh, nowadays, the transmitter has four lights, and they're green, and when you, each one... When you get, when it goes to three lights, it's get 75% battery, you know, two I lights. I thought you, you had an indicator. I do on some of my models, but it's, it's not common. Yeah. Because huh. you... Have you done that before? What? You ran out of power for uh, the plane? Uh, no. Fortunately, I never have. But I've run low, and if you run too low, if you run your battery beyond what you're supposed to, it just kind of like with a car battery. Well, car batteries maybe not so susceptible. What, but with lipos, if you over drain the battery, it can harm it. Oh. <clears throat> so that's another reason to use a timer that way. It's got a pretty good uh, seal. Looks like it's got a real good seal. To push pretty good. To make it click into place. Pretty cool. All right, folks. Thank you. Thanks for doing the video, Lance. Appreciate it. And oh, me? Yes. I did the video. No, I mean, but thanks for, you know, I didn't sign for the consenting. Oh, I didn't say that. It's inferred. It's oh. inferred. <laughs> it's in the family. 
All right, maybe he'll let us do a video of him running this thing around the first time. So uh, this is Mark and Brother Lance in Bend, Oregon, beautiful place, and uh, signing off in five, four, three, two, one, zero.